with the get cook and they are got it and and we are accepting people into that program same thing eight weeks of training as soon as you're done with the eight week training and uh, you um you you know take the classes at the end you're eligible to get the grant so this time around i believe it's a three thousand dollar grant and um yeah yeah and uh but it's only if you want to set up the mikos or if you have mikos so if that's the case then um definitely i'll, I'll send you guys in the follow-up email i'll send you information on how to sign up for it so and i know that you guys did so well in the other program you'll do great with this and now let's talk about uh what we're here to talk about today which is um the Hungry Hop app. So this is an app that helps you sell food to people uh, like uh, like DoorDash or Uber Eats, but legal if you have a home business, right? Because it's illegal to sell them if you're, you know, on the other ones. So uh, I'm going to let you, Anoush, talk a little bit about it. And if you want to share your screen too, I'll stop my video here. Okay. There you go. And if you want to turn on that too, that way they can also see you to just be up in the corner. That's perfect. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. Is that okay, Calvin, on your side? <clears throat> okay. So let me start again. Um, sorry, my, my mic was on mute. Uh, so my name is Anuj and uh, I'm the founder of Hungry Hop. And with me here is also uh, Rahil. He's a co-founder with me. So Hungry Hop is a marketplace for Mako cooks. And uh, it just, sorry, give me a second. It's my system is acting a little bit. There, sorry. Okay, so imagine trying to rent a car without Uber or rent a, uh, a vacation place without Airbnb. How would you go about doing it? How would you find the right um, car or a right apartment. It's almost impossible. And that's the same problem you have with the, with the uh, Meko uh, kitchen, right? You can open a kitchen, but how do you tell customers what you're cooking, how good it is, and how do you advertise it? And for that, you need a marketplace. And that's what Hungry Hop is. Just think as Uber of food. Um, and we have developed and designed this marketplace specifically for home cooks. Uh, so it's not it's not like Uber Eats, it's not like um, DoorDash, because that's more focused for restaurants. We are focusing specifically for home cooks and Mako cooks to make sure they have all the tools and all the support they need to sell their food. Give me a second. There. Is that better? Yeah, we can see it. Now. Okay. So um, what have we done to make it customized and designed for Meko Cooks? We help you showcase your unique talents. Um, you can reach new customers as a growing marketplace. Every time a new customer joins, they can see all the Meko Cooks on there. We manage all the risk. Customers pay you in advance. One of the biggest problems for Meko Cooks is that um, customers may order on the phone and they, they don't turn up or you don't get paid in complete um, you know, amount, all kind of issues. Um, and also the risk, like you don't know who's who's coming, who's paying. Here, everybody's paid in advance. You have the credit card. We have the credit card information. It's going through a platform, which is a Stripe, which is a national well-recognized platform. It al allows you to manage your time to, um, to schedule the hours where you want to deliver food or, or pick up food. And... Uh, and uh, people can only order during the, those times or pick up during those times. It allows you to manage a menu. You can manage a menu by week, day of the week, 
or day of the month. You might have a separate menu for um, one Saturday and another for another Saturday or other special holidays, like Christmas menu, things like that. You can do all those kind of things. I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, so I know we have a lot of people joining from home also. Uh, do uh, I know we're going to go through everything that it does. Are we going to be able to get everybody signed up? Uh, That's what we're trying to do. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to get through it quickly just to understand what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, it has a messaging platform to talk to other, other customers, uh, to your customers, and customers can, can send you a uh, custom request. Um, it provides you reports on how much you have sold over time, month, week, things like that how many orders are sending, how many orders are, have already come in. You can offer discount promotions, order on the go, all that kind of cool stuff you can do through this app and, and through the website. Um, and for the buyers, it allows you to find the chefs, select, it's very simple for them. It's a, just go on, find a chef, select the dishes, pay for it, check out, and then you pick up whenever you want to. And for pickup, as a chef, you can set up the time, the minimum time that is needed for you to process the order. So you can say, I don't want any order less than 48 hours away because you need time to buy the groceries or whatever. So you can set up the the, the lead time for your pickups or deliveries. Um, and for the seller, I mean, these are the, these are the main um, advantages here. You have a dashboard, you have store settings, you have menu management reports. Um, you can do promote your products and order management. So that's, that's generally a, high level uh, review of what Hungry Hop does. Here's a quick uh, uh, screen of uh, report, like what are your sales on each, uh, like every day of the month, what are your sales? And you can track your sales every, every day of the month and you can go granular into that and see you know, who bought what and things like that. So you have really good tools, reporting and order management tools here. So let's go to the actual signing a process. So does it make sense for people who maybe do a, like maybe one sale every week or month uh, to, to be on something like this? Is it? Yes, it yes, you can, you can still work. So because you can take in orders, you can set one day when you want people to pick up. Uh, let's say it's next month on uh, 15th May. And um, and that's it. So people will only say you, they can only pick up on 15th May between four and 5 p.m., just one hour of that. And let's say you're selling cookies and you want to just make, you make specialty cookies, you're delivering, your, you only make one day a month mm -hmm. and you can do that. So you can collect orders throughout the month till like uh, two days before you start cooking and then have everybody pick up on one day. <clears throat> Oops. Yes, please. Is there like a minimum or a maximum of uh, orders that, um, that you can take? Say no. like it's only like one, at least, you know, you have to order like five or maybe just one or is there like a minimum or a maximum? Or no, we don't, we don't control that. You control it. Okay. So you can, you can define the size of the orders and you can define how many orders you want to take. So if you have, let's say you have made 10 dishes and you can only sell 10 dishes in that day. So you can you can control that, and if once you reach that level, you can just say, okay, I don't want to take any more orders. So we don't we don't control that, but but we do we give you the control. Okay, so here's the website hungryhub.com, and the sign up process is pretty straightforward and simple. And I'll I'll just quickly go down here, and you can see the set. It has a process on how you know, a simple process on how you can sign up, um, how the customers can can order food areas we are serving right now and this will expand we are just starting because this was the company's launch launched in san diego so we are starting with the areas here in san diego local areas here but later we'll go to different cities and move out to different counties within california and different states so um we will also highlight right now we don't have this here but we'll highlight your stories the chefs who want to highlight their stories they have you know they want to uh, talk about their experiences. They want to talk about the dishes. We will highlight those stories, videos, things like that. And then we have a common, common uh, frequently asked questions. Um, so let me quickly go to the, uh, the sign-up part because that's what is critical right now. And we want to make sure we convert it, we complete it in time. 
So if you go to sign up and click on seller, so this is first one is for customer, second is for seller. You you will be selling because you're selling food. You so will be you signing up a seller. To, to go along and be doing this while yes, while please. Doing it? Yes, okay, please. So yeah, yeah. just follow. Just just go along with me. And Kevin, we have an extra. Like the you know the you were there the laptop is the the math laptop. I can check. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll get you in the Or maybe uh, can, you, can you can you help us kind of? Uh, yeah, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Kevin, you got one here. You don't need it. Uh, I don't need it. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, maybe you can yeah, get I, it. I can assist you with it. Yes, I can. Yeah, walk okay. through what I can help you. Okay, and just to let everybody know, I'm gonna let everybody know also from home. Uh, it's uh it doesn't cost you guys anything no yeah it no. doesn't cost you anything. sign up is free you can even if you don't have mako account or mako certificate you can sign up you can create an account you can only sell your product if you're certified yes so yes. you have to make a certified we are also opening up very soon because we have we have to give a few more tools for uh cottage food industry so if you have cottage food license you should sign up very soon you can because it, as long as you can legally sell food I have a catering. Uh, so she's catering. certified with catering. Catering. Mm -hmm. So we—that's a separate. So we cannot. You cannot sell it in the same as Meko because there is a rule against that. But we will have a separate section for caterers. Okay. Uh, but go ahead and sign up. Okay. If you get Meko, you can you can be on Meko. But later we can also add into the catering thing. And then, maybe I can I can just go ahead and, and sign up because I want to get the Miko. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it anyways. If I'm working with the Miko, I could put maybe another name, right? Like. UCS kitchen or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. yeah. So yeah. you have because more access. Like the yeah. 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 So, yeah. so you cannot have Mako and catering together, right? I think there's some rule about it, right? Uh, I well, I don't know. No, you can have catering and Mako. You just have to have you have to be licensed for both. You can't do them under yeah. one license. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go to the commercial festival. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And we only sell like on the weekends on yep. the church. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And I was gonna say something for the people at home too. If you're when you're uh, you know as you're going through. Uh, if you want to have, um, you know, start the application process too, then we can kind of jump in and help. But if you get stuck, either either unmute yourself and tell us that you need help, or put it in the chat because I'm watching the chat also. So you know, so yeah, okay, okay. that's it. Thank you. So click on seller, and it'll take you to Chef Sign Up page. So they go to the hungryhop.com. Really hungryhop.com. So let let me go back here. Let me put. I'll put this in uh, in the chat. Let me see if I can find the computer. Okay. We're getting signed up for uh for the Hungry Hop app and then uh, we'll help you kind of kind of walk walk through the Okay, I just put the link for the website on the chat. And then once you do that, go to sign up and go to seller. And just start filling in the information. It's a, it's your your business name. The ones with a star here are required. You need to fill that. So I'll just say, um, okay. So I'm going to start writing here, uh, business name Claudia's Kitchen. I'll put my name here. My name is Anush Gurg, full name. Uh, you can put your phone number here. Uh, that's my phone number. Uh, in case you know, in case later also, if you want to call me or something, you can put your street here number here one 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 dot on ten road, San Diego. So you can just say no because you don't have it right. Nine two one two nine. State is California. I totally fix it up. If it doesn't, just make sure your state is right here. County. County is important because MAKO license are issued by the county. So you want to make sure we know which county you're on, uh, you're in. And then this is just Home Chef. We are going to add other uh, restaurants and and and, and uh, uh, cottage food uh, licenses and all this. I'll pause to and ask people at home yeah. because I'm sure they probably need questions or they need questions. And any questions till this, this point? Delivery. So, you can so from home, any anybody need any help? Yeah. Any questions on getting this uh, getting this going? Yeah, so click on it. So right now, I think it's we have set it up for pickup only. So my my uh, actually my speaker is muted. Is anybody hearing on the speaker? No. Do you have your speaker on, Kevin? No, nobody has a speaker on. Do you have your speaker on? 
Okay, so, so we can hear, hear if they're talking? talking? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so why don't you hear myself? Hello? 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 hello, hello, hello. I'm not too sure what's happening. Well, oh, you can hear it on there. Oh, oh, you can hear it. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Got it. So I can turn on my speaker. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. So you can turn on your speaker. That's okay. So, okay. Um, then the next thing is enter Mako license. If you have it, if you don't have, so I can say Mako certification, no. And you can go forward and uh, and you don't have to fill the Mako license number at that point. You can still create an account. Just put any number. It's still requiring it. So just wow. any, any number. So just one, one two, three, four, five, five for now. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought if you say no, it's not, it doesn't require it. It's, it's, it's not answered all the required fields. Yeah, no, I, th I think it doesn't. Yeah, we, we try. So, like, I think it, just uh, it yes, doesn't. Yes, yeah. yes. When you say no, it doesn't require So if you have a license, please do enter it because we, you cannot publish your store till you have a license. But if you don't have a license, go ahead and create an account. Uh, because once you get a license, you, you'll be ready to launch. It takes a while to put in all the menu, pictures, all kind of stuff. So create an account so that you're ready to launch as soon as you get a license. Now, cuisines, choose what kind of cuisine you are uh, uh, you are making. If it doesn't fit any of these cuisines, that's fine. You can send us an email and text us and let us know what you want. But for now, just choose something that is closest to your cuisine. So let's say I say big foods. And then pick up our delivery. Right now, we're doing pick up only because Neko doesn't allow third party delivery. We will give an option for you to deliver yourself if you need to do that. Uh, put in your email. Now you can log Okay. <laughs> and then put in your password if you should have at least eight characters or longer, one lowercase, one uppercase, and at least one number. Okay, so there's an echo on the sound. I apologize. Let me get rid of that right now. Better? I turned my sound off. Thank you. Okay, great. It's better. It's better. Okay. And then just agree to both the terms, uh, terms of use and beta test, uh, tester agreement. You're welcome. I wanted to say one other thing, though. If, that's, if any of you at home are getting stuck on anything, I know the people here are getting lots of help. Yeah. Uh, you can always help yeah, set please, it up. Please, please. Yeah, yeah, please. So if, if you are, yeah. So if, if you are having any trouble here, uh, please. Uh, please send uh, send an email. You can send an email here also at agar.com. Send an email to me. I'll set up a time with you. And uh, we will follow up with you and just make sure you get set up. And if you get set up and you launch it, you also get your gift certificate. So you can just agree to the thing, put the password, and just click next. I won't click next because I have already have it registered in there. So I don't want to do that. But just click next and you should get a you will get a message for um, uh, for a code to your email and enter the code and you should be in. Okay, so then, now the next thing is, do we have a Stripe account or no? Mm -hmm. Stripe, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, you don't know what that is. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Uh, then we'll show you how to set okay. up your, so because Stripe it is for people to pay you. Okay. Yeah, and then for you to receive payments, like okay. if somebody wants to pay you. Okay, so I have so, to get a Stripe Yes, you have to get a Stripe account, and we'll help you out. Oh, that. okay. okay. So, um, so that's it. Right. Okay, so now no, you can express And just to let everybody know from home. Your mm -hmm. like, when do we want to okay. Just to let everybody know from home, uh, we're just uh, helping everybody get set up. If you're uh, wanting to work on your side, getting it set up there, um, that's great. Uh, if any of you, and what we're doing is we're getting everybody set up for, for the Hungry Hop app. And uh, can you put the link again in the chat one more time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then those of you who are uh, who are in the um, in the Mikos Cook Academy program or uh, B BUSC 155, we'll start that at 5 o'clock tonight. So, so that link again is in the chat for those of you. Okay, good, good. And they don't have to sign up for Stripe right now, or do they? Well, if they do it, it's great. It okay. doesn't take too long. Okay. But if they don't, they'll have to sign up. They cannot launch the store till they're signed up for Stripe. Okay. So I, I hope I don't know if everybody heard that. 
if you don't have to necessarily sign up for Stripe right now okay, uh, to use the app, you can always uh, do it later, but you can't launch it until you do so. So, but, we're please, here to but please go ahead and sign for Stripe if you can right now. It doesn't take too long to do it. Uh, if you have the information, your bank information there with you. Okay, so should we move to the next step? What was the time right now? It's 4.22. Okay, yeah. Skip it here. You're good. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, record keeper and time is good. Especially try to do some of yeah, the things yeah. in such a short amount of time. Okay. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh. Okay, so let's move to the next step. If you all have registered and you are in your seller account, you should be coming to the screen automatically. If not, go to settings and go to store info. And when you click on store info, that's the screen you'll come to. Um, now, the first thing here is the store URL. And this is the URL that will be used for your shop on Hungry Hop site. So, and you can customize it. So it will say, you know, hungryhop.com slash menu dash, and then whatever name you want to put. It will take a default name of your um, store that you put in there, the, the business name, but you can customize it if you want to change it. And, you know, as long as this URL is available, you will get that. Next step is the name of your store. And I can say Claudia's store, let's say that. And that's the name of the store that you entered at the, at the beginning, but it can be different, whatever you want to name your store or your, your uh, uh, website. Uh, after that is store description. You can enter your description. You can do it later also, but this is the description of what your store is going to be, um, uh, is what you're going to tell the customer when they come to the store. And you can always see everything that you're entering. You can see how your store will look like at uh, view store link here. So if I click view store, here's how my store is going to look. Here's the picture, here's the sample store uh, by Claudia Jones. And this is the description I was talking about here. This is how the description is going to look. So let me go back here. The merchant thing. Next thing, your phone number, contact name, contact phone. There's a store phone number and contact, they, contact phone. They can be same if they need to be or different. If you have a landline in the store and you're, you know, you want a separate contact number for mobile, things like that. Email, contact email, country, address, and then again, cuisine, what kind of cuisine you have. Uh, you can do that. Uh, that should come default based on what you chose in the beginning, but you can edit it here and then pick up our, our delivery. On the next screen here, it set the location on the map. Now this should show the location of your store based on the address that you put in here, this address. If it doesn't, sometimes, you know, Google or, or, or Mapbox here would uh, may not exactly point to the right place. So you can move it if you need to, to the exact place where you think your store should be. Just zoom into it and move this pointer to where it should be if you need to adjust it. If not, then you're good and just leave it as it is. Are we good with that? The next thing is uh, here, make a certification. Here you'll say if you're certified, yes. If not, then no. Your make a certification number, and then you load your make a certificate. Uh, if a scanned copy of a make a certificate, because we need to make sure that uh, make you are certified before you can launch your store. And the last thing here you will set up is your payment gateway, which is on the right hand side here. And you will you'll get the steps to log into or create a Stripe account. Make sure you create a Stripe account. 
sometimes Stripe, once you create, once you create an account, it will give an error here, which is okay, because once you put in your Stripe login um, uh, name and your password, you can go to Stripe uh, website, stripe.com, log in, and then uh, uh, set up all the settings there. Yeah. So, are there any behind it? Okay. Express lunch. Let's see the chat here. Make it like appetizers. Right. So I'm going to pause here for a few minutes just to make sure everybody catches up and then we'll go forward. So, so, so Rahil, let me pause. Okay, so is everyone caught up at this stage? People on, uh, so, so all the participants online, are you all caught up? Are you all caught up? Any questions before I move forward? Okay, seems like yes. Let me go to the next section then. Next section is store settings. Once you're done with store info, go to store settings. Now store setting, and we'll go through one example, um, and then you can go ahead and start adding stuff as 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 you know later as you uh, as you figure out how you know all the data for your store. So first thing is order and food item settings, which is now this ordering enabled is you can turn it off, which means that ordering is disabled. Then nobody can place orders. Let's say you are going off for a you want to turn turn off your ordering system because you're closing down for a few days or, or for whatever reasons you are running out of material and you want to close down the orders, you can do that. So right now the ordering is enabled. Keep By default, it's enabled. Keep it enabled. The next one is hours before pickup. Uh, this What this means is how much time do you need before the last order is placed in? So that means people cannot place orders for this store less than 48 hours away. So if you so today is Wednesday. So the earliest people can place order for for this store is Friday, which is 48 hours away. And that's the time the cook needs to, you know, buy the material or whatever. So that's, and you can control this. You can make it 48 hours, 24 hours, uh, um, or, uh, yeah. So you can, you can choose, like, normally we do minimum 24 hours here, but you can choose this. Uh, the next one is oh sorry I'm, I'm, um, I, I, I misspoke here this is the time before the customer is allowed to cancel the order so we said 48 hours this is the time people, because people can order like one week in advance or we allow people to order up to four months in advance your calendar goes up to four months open so if somebody ordered in advance and for some reason the plan changed you can control what is the earliest time or, or the latest time where they can cancel the order. So in this case, they can cancel the order up to 48 hours before you, before it's finalized. Once they cross the 48 hour line before pickup, they cannot cancel the order. Uh, minimum time before the window closes. This is what I was talking about previously is you can choose how much time you want before you uh, you stop taking orders for that day. 
or for that time. So you can choose in days, you can go up to 30 days. So you, you can say, I don't want to take orders for up to 15 days in advance. Like you have to take an order at least 15 days in advance, or you can choose um, like just one hour in advance, or you can leave zero that if you want to take order immediately and just deliver, you just leave it zero. So you have a choice from zero all the way to 30 days of how much advance notice you want for the orders. So that's the first part. Um, and then before before you go forward, when you do all the settings, make sure you press the save button at the bottom. If you don't, then it won't save your settings. So you can keep on changing settings and it won't do anything till you save it. Next one is uh, menu and receipt settings and uh, display item gallery, which is the images that you want to display in your gallery in the front. And what I mean by that is, let me just show you what the gallery looks like. Uh, I can again always go to the view store. And uh, and the item gallery is here. So if I click on an item, this is the gallery. You can see I can have multiple pictures of this item. This is my item gallery. Do you want to show that or not? That is your uh, that you can choose. And then display menu. Do you want to display the menu? You can you can have a store open and maybe decide you don't display open menu and just give a description. That's also fine. But we give you a choice to control whatever you want to display. You can display the menu or display the gallery. And uh, again, you have to save it if you make any changes. This is really important of delivery and store timings. Uh, now, if you're doing your own delivery, you can choose that do you want to deliver uh, just uh, like for any amount, or you can say that I'll, I'll deliver only if you order for a certain am amount of dollars. So you can say if, if the deliver to for free delivery, the amount has to be above $25, for example. So you can put 25 here, and that means for any customer who wants free delivery, will have to order $25 worth of it. Uh, this is for no contact delivery. You know, if you want, if customers opt in, you can see that. And then, you know, basically you can have your own process how you want to do no contact delivery. This was mainly because of COVID, but nowadays I don't think people really care much about that. This is store open days. When is, on what days you want to open your store and just the weekdays and the time. So you can choose Monday through Sunday, whatever days you want it open, you can click or unclick. And then the times start and end time. And this is also corresponds to pickup time. Open day could also mean a pickup time. If you want to say pickup time is only on between between five uh, five a.m. and uh, um, let's say between oh sorry let me go here. You want to keep it on Monday between uh, between uh, one p.m. Let's do one p.m and end time and let's say between on monday between um, 3 p.m so between 1 and 3 p.m on mondays that's that's your pickup time that's it and then you save it and you can do that um next one is charges and fee uh minimum order amount for pickup so even if you're doing pickup, like previously we had for delivery, but even though you have to do pickup, you may not want customers calling like $3 worth of drink and scheduling time and come picking up because you just, it's not worth your time. So you can say minimum amount for pickup. That means the order won't go through till customer orders that minimum, minimum amount, which could be $10, $15, you can choose. Or if you leave zero, then that's also fine. And then you can also enable tips. When people pay on the checkout, they will see uh, option for tips if you enable it. If you don't, then they won't show option for tips. That's again your choice. And you can set the default value of the tips. We also have an option for custom tips and um, you know we'll give you a few other options there for the for the customer. But for you, you can choose a default value, which is good 15, 0, 10, 15, or 20 percent. And the last one is store settings, which is also pretty cool and, and customizable. Uh, you know, to give you your time and make sure you you are in control of your time, which is you can open and close the store anytime you want. Um, if your store is closed, you can put a message here why it is closed. So customers, you know, at least know the reason for closing. Um, this is for store logo. If you want to put this your store logo here on the store. Um, store holidays, you can define 
the holidays that you want. You can add a holiday here. And 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 I can say, let's say 25th of April is a holiday. And so people won't be able to order for 25th of April. It will show as closed. So if they're setting a pickup, they won't be able to set up for this day because you have a holiday. And you can choose multiple holidays. There's no limit how many holidays you want to put in there. You can also put a holiday message saying like it's Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever. You can put a message here saying that, uh, you know, wishing people or whatever you want to say why the store is closed. This is the header background, which is the background when you see on the top, like here, this background in the back, that's the header background. And then the last one is a time zone, which time zone you are in. So we are in Los Angeles, um, Pacific time zone. Please make sure you enter this one because all the timings that you see on the website and the app will be based on your time zone. Any questions, Are we? Is anybody up to speed? I look at chat also here. Uh, Okay, so let me go to the next part, which is menu management. So once you're done with settings, store settings, uh, store, store, store settings, that's, there's a photo store, photo gallery here, and I'll quickly go over that and show, show it to you. So you can add images and you can explore this. You can enable gallery, you can have a photo gallery under your main screen, you can have multiple pictures of your store. Um, you know, you can have uh, pictures of the food there if you want to. And then you can also see customer reviews here. We have a customer use section. When you start selling, you'll see customer reviews and things like that. And then you also have social settings and alert notifications, which is you can link to your Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff, food stuff. Let's go to, since we don't have too much time, I'll go to menu management, which is really important. So if, if you click on menu, menu management here, you will see the screen. Now here we start with per category. Third category is the category of uh, how you want to device your menu. And you choose how you want to do it. So in this case, we have done appetizers, soups, pasta, pizza, Mediterranean food, desserts. We are just, you know, this is just a sample um, store. So you can choose how you want to do it. Or you can do it by breakfast, lunch, dinner, if you want to do categories like that. Uh, you might have different categories uh, based on some other criteria where you might have uh, uh, you know, just within that, like uh, maybe Chinese cuisine or Italian cuisine, if you're making multiple cuisines, you might have those categories in there. So you can choose how you want to do it. So you click on new, define your name of the category, description of the category here. Okay. Then the menu um, here. Menu management. And then um, category availability. Now you have a much more finer control over uh, your, your menu uh, by category. Meaning that even if your store is open on five days a week or five days a, or three days a week or whatever your store opening hours is, Within that, you can choose when this category is available. For example, you have breakfast. So you can say breakfast is available only from um, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you can have a category called breakfast. or And then you can make another another category lunch, which is open from um, 11 um, a.m. to 3 p.m. Right? So you can choose multiple uh, categories. Appetizers here, you can say, I can say appetizers available only from... Um, 8 a.m., 8 or 3 a.m. to 11.59 instead of p.m. Let me just change that. 11.59 a.m. And then I can add it on Monday, right? And But then I can also go, actually, sorry, I didn't, I didn't save that, but that's okay. But I can also go and create a new category and say that another set of soups is available in the afternoon. So, so you can, on one day, you can have multiple time slots because each category will have different time slots. And then you can have it also on multiple days What when you want to offer this category. So that's the first part, the category part. And it'll get more clear as I go forward. Now within category, you'll have products. For example, appetizers, 
you can have multiple appetizers. So there, you, that's that's what you put in products. So let's say we have a diavola pizza. Uh, now this pizza, you put your name of the product here, description. You can put a picture here. Item status is whether the item is you're selling or not is available for sale or not. So if once it's available available for sale, you can make it green. For example, you may have this pizza, but you're not selling it for next, um, you don't have it available because you don't have ingredients. You're not selling it for next um, three or four months. You can just turn it off. And so it won't show on any menu anymore. Um, you, once you put the description, you can also say this food is available in which category. So for example, we had breakfast, lunch, dinner, or you can say it's available as pizza or even in appetizer, I can say it's available as appetizer. And um, and then dish availability daily. Now this is even finer control. So you had category when categories are available, but within category, you can choose on what days this pizza is available. And I can say this pizza is this is it's available on all the days here, which is which is based on a category. But I can also choose choose that this pizza is not available on these days. The ones that are red are not available, and and that's fine. So it won't allow people to order pizza for these days. So you can choose, within category, you can choose when a specific item is available. And then you can add price. I can have small pizza, medium pizza. Small pizza is $10, medium pizza is $20. And the large pizza, let's say $25. And then you can, if you want to offer discount, um, I can, let's say discount is, $5. It will show up on the menu that you're offering discount. And that you can just you know, add it for a certain time and remove it if you need to. But you can control the discount as, as you were. And it will show up. I'll show you how it's going to show up. And then, uh, let me see. Today is, actually, I should not do that because it won't show up in the menu. Then. Let me just do that. You've got this, this. And then you can also choose dietary type. We have these filters here. You can create your own filters. We have some fixed filters, which says I can choose whether it is uh, dairy free, halal, low carb, let's say it's low carb, organic, low carb. And dish type is, we already chose up there, it's main and um, appetizer and main. And you can choose, uh, you have product, but besides product, you also have a dish type because people can choose a main dish, side dish, dessert. So you can choose that also. Spice level, you can add, you can have low. And let's say I want to have low and high. People, can, these are the choices people can have. And people can choose that as they as they select the, the item. Protein options and then allergens. These are the things that you have in your product. And then you can add your own ingredients if you want to. You can create your ingredient list. If you click here, it'll take you to this place. Uh, ingredients here. And you can create your own list, which will show up here. And then you can add ingredients if you have extra ingredients, which you want to tell the customer. Let's just save here. And then, like I said, I can always go to the uh, item here, view store. And then I can go to the pizza. You see the pizza here? That's the pizza I was working on. And I put discount, $5 discount. So this is the description. So I put small, medium, large, but I also put $5 discount. So it's showing me cost, cost, or price. And then people who order, they can see the discount. Other stuff doesn't have discount, but this one has discount. If you take out the discount, this will go away. Uh, yes. Um, yes, you can, but right now we haven't enabled that feature. We're still testing it. So we do have that capability and it's going to be enabled very soon. Yes. Uh, the problem is with promo codes, how do you control that? Right? Because each chef can have their own promo codes and uh, we have to keep track of all the promo codes. And that because if it's a one central location which is giving promo codes, if it's a one restaurant or chain, they can control it. And that's where we need to figure out. So we do have the option for that, but we disabled it because it's causing a lot of confusion. And maybe that's one like an idea, but I need to like, um, 
um, yeah, like just throw out there is that if you are able to like how uh, you guys did with the time frame of when maybe that would be an active promo code that you didn't even touch it to accept any more. Yeah, well, I mean, we can, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. So let's come back to that. Let me go through this thing because we are running a little bit short time. Yeah. And then we'll come back to the promo code thing. Yeah. The, the last and the last thing here is the size. So you can create your own sizes. So I have small, medium, large. You can create 10 ounce, 20 ounce, 50 ounce, one pound, two pound, whatever. So if you want to create a new size, let's say I create a new size of uh, um, one LB, one pound. And then I can turn on the size status, make sure you turn it on, otherwise it won't show up and I save it. Now, if I go back to my products here and, and let's go to pizza, right? Which you were doing earlier. And here I have sizes. So see one pound came up here as a size. I can choose not to use that. So it won't show up in the front, but if I do, I can I can put a price for one pound also and it'll show up in the front at the thing. So you can have sizes because especially for drinks, you might have like five ounce, six ounce, 12 ounce, 18 ounce. For some products, you might have small, medium, large. Other products, you might have one pound, 10 pound kind of thing. So you can, you know, you can you can create your own sizes in this, this list and they'll show up for your products. Add-on category is the, um, is the uh, category of ingredients. For example, let's say sweeteners, right? Um, so you're making drinks and you want to, you want to ask customers what kind of sweeteners they want. So I can add a category of sweetener. And uh, drinks. And let's turn it on. And save. Now I've got this category of sweetness. Now what I need to add is items for this category. And that's what the next tab is. So I say add on item here. And I say add new. And let's say my item is sugar for a sweetener. Right? Regular or let's say white sugar. White sugar. And uh, it's part of sweetener. But that's the only category I have. I turn it on. And I say save. Now I have another item. I say raw sugar. And I turn this on also and spot a sweetener and save. Now if I go to uh, yeah, okay. products here and let's take a sweet product and let's say you want people to be able to customize it. Uh, then uh, let's say Coke. I you know I know you can't customize it, but let's say say Coke. Yeah. So you have ingredients food category, and there you have sweetener add on category, right? So you can choose uh, you can choose only one or choose multiple for this thing, and you can do sweetener for the Coke, and it is. Let's say it's required. And these are two options, right? You can give these two options for the white sugar and these two, these two are available for this thing. So once you select it, now it's going to show that sweetener is available. This, this These two options are available for Coke. OK. And I'll save it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So, so. Uh, sweeten and then last one is ingredients like here. So since we are running short of time, I'll quickly go through this one. Ingredients is again like like add-on category. You can choose the list of ingredients and then it will show up in your product page. And you can tell what ingredients your product has so that you know customers are aware of that, especially because of allergies or they want to know what you're putting in there. Uh, can I can I sure. just, oh, just tell yeah. one thing? So uh, you know, we're running very, very low on time. Um, I do have a class starting at five o'clock. The class is for the BUSC 155 class. I know some of you have already taken that class. If you want to stick around and get some help getting your business set up on Hungry Hop app, you can stay. I, I, do you guys have some time to work? So you can stay. Uh, we also have the other room over there set up. You're welcome to use this room and, and meet and get it done. 
or if you're at home and you want to get some help um, also put your uh, put your email address in the uh, in the chat and then they'll reach out to you and set up a time to one-on-one -on -one finish yes. everything. I'm going, to, I'm going to put my email address over also in the okay. chat Perfect. and reach out to me. Perfect. Sorry, which one? Support. The support. Support. Okay, so reach out at support at hungryhop.com. And oh, actually, yeah, that's okay. Uh, and um, and we'll we'll get back to you. And we'll make sure within one or two days we'll we'll get back to you. And we will we will um, um, walk you through it um, step by step. So then, uh, so the ones, so anybody who gets uh, gets set up uh, for this, they are also they also get a gift card for yes. it. So, so once so once you launch, launch once you launch your store, you will get a twenty five dollar gift card. And if you're not here, don't worry about it. We will email you the gift card. Just send us your email. We'll email you twenty five dollar gift card. Other thing is also, once you make your first ten sales, um, we will give you a fifty dollar gift card uh, for achieving ten sales. <laughs> Uh, main thing is main main only rule for those ten sales is that the ten sales have to come from at least five different customers. Not one customer cannot just keep on ordering the same item. So you have to have ten sales from five five different customers, and you'll get another fifty dollar gift card on top of twenty five dollar. So thank you, everyone. I know we are really short of time, um, but we'll be here to help you. If you have any questions, let us know. Also, let me. If you want to reach out right now, you can reach out support at hungryhop.com also right now. I will also put my email here. Yeah. That's my email. Reach out to me also if you, if you need, if you want to. Even now, if you reach out to me, I have my, my email here. And I can call you back. Just send me your phone number or your contact information. I can call you back and walk you through the system even now after we end this talk. So thank you very much, and uh, thanks for participating. Thank and, you. Yay, good job. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, anybody from home also, um, you're welcome to stick around for the 155 class if you want. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get set up for, for that, but thanks for coming, everybody. So, Yes.